In this video, we are going to cover exception handling. Basically, any error which occurred at runtime is called the exceptions. And here, we are trying to handle that particular exceptions so that our programs should not terminate abnormally. For example, when we are writing a basic TSQL block between the begin and end keyword, there may be a situation like any set of statement or a single statement may raise an exception. So in that particular time, we can go for this particular concept where any suspected statement or set of statements should be placed inside the try block. If there is no exception, the execution will remain as it was earlier. But in case there is an exception, then the control will be passed to the catch block, which will help us to manage the exception or to handle the exceptions. So let's see practically how can we implement the exception handling. In this implementation of exception handling, basically I have just taken the try and catch block. You can definitely put this try catch block inside any begin statement. So as if any exception will occur, this execution, this try and catch execution may get executed. But here in this program, what I'm doing is uh, it's a very simple and straightforward thing. Like in this try block, as I said, all those statements which I'm suspecting, like they may cause an exception, I will put inside this try block. Like here, I have what I'm doing is I'm dividing one with zero, so it will simply cause you divide by zero exception. So as soon as there is an exception, this statement will terminate, will get terminated from right here. And after this, what, it will, what will happen? The control will directly go to the catch block. So whatever we have written inside the catch block will take, will get executed. So here, first is double at the rate error. That is a global variable which will return you the error number for the specific error. The same number can be returned by this function called error number as well. And make sure you are using all these functions like severity, uh, the state, the procedure, the line and message in the catch block only because catch is the block which will get executed in case any error is there. So let's execute this and see what is happening. As here from this particular select statement, you will not get anything. Now the exception uh, got raised and it is being handled by this uh, cache block. So first of all, it is error. So it is 8134, the error code for divide by zero exception. Uh, again, the error number, you can see the first and second are returning with the same value. Then the error severity, error state, error procedure. Procedure means if uh, you are writing the complex TSQL block and inside which inside this you are invoking any procedure also and probably the exception is raised through that particular procedure which you are calling then in that case you will get the procedure name and again the error line that is line number two in which the error occurred which error the message is here divide by zero error encountered so this is how you can start handling the error using the try and catch blocks. Now let's have another example here where inside this begin and end I have put the begin try. This is the thing which we have already done like where we just try to concatenate the varchar with the varchar and then with the numeric. So what it happened, what happened here? It actually causes me the typecasting error in our earlier videos where we get started, we were getting started with the TSQL. So uh, I just put this particular thing inside this try so that if any error will occur at the runtime that will be managed by this catch block. So now let's execute this and see there is a different error code like 8114, severity, state, Procedure line number seven error converting data type varchar to numeric. All right. So this is how you can write a logical code inside the begin and end. And for all the suspected code, 
you can simply put it inside this begin try and end try and later you can handle it within begin catch and end catch.